Hey guys, it's Faye from Solar Flow, and I am back with an all new video. Today's topic is a mini behind the veil energy read into the actor Samuel L. Jackson. So if that sounds good to you, please stick around. And if not, I will catch you at another video. Now, to start with, we're just gonna explore some 3D material information on who Samuel L. Jackson is. And I source my material off of a subject's Wikipedia page, but I remind you that it is not the full breadth and scope of what is written there. And that is first and foremost because public figures tend to have rather lengthy Wikipedia pages about them, and most specifically actors have incredibly long ones because they go over their like entire, entire childhood and all the films that they've appeared in. And I'm not saying there's not a place for that. But I'm saying in an energy read video, there's not a place for that. Because you guys are here for the goods that the guides bring, not to hear me parrot written information about somebody. So I'm just gonna remind you that I essentially read through a person's Wikipedia page and I pull out just enough to build out a character profile in who they are so we can come to understand them a little bit better and maybe understand what their contributions are in the 3D material plane. So we're gonna barrel through some 3D information on him so we can get to the goods that the guides bring. So here we go. Some 3D information on Samuel L. Jackson that I acquired off of his Wikipedia page. So Samuel L. Jackson, who was born on December 21st, 1948, is an American actor. And according to his Wikipedia page, one of the most widely recognized actors of his generation. The films he has appeared in have grossed over $27 billion worldwide making him one of the highest grossing actors of all time. And one could probably even make the case one of the most bankable actors of all time. He started acting in theater in 1980 and he had early film roles starting in the late 80s. In 2022, he received the Academy Honorary Award as a cultural icon. Now he has worked numerous times with Spike Lee, as well as Quentin Tarantino, who was responsible for his next level breakout role in the film, Pulp Fiction. And for that role, he won a BAFTA award for best supporting actor. And he was also nominated for an Academy Award for best supporting actor. Now he met his wife and married her in 1980. And I think this is the bomb. He has a clause in his contract that allows him to play golf during film shoots. So this is a guy that has an excellent work-life balance. And he has an estimated net worth of $150 million. So that concludes the brief exploration into his 3D information. And we are now going to move on to the energy read on him. So here we go. Samuel L. Jackson is a real mofo. <laughs> and if you don't know what mofo stands for, it's motherfucker. <laughs> but he's a mofo in the best possible way. So you know how if you use the term shit, it can denote different meanings depending on the context. So for example, if somebody is in shit, it reflects them being in trouble. But if somebody is the shit, it reflects them being the bomb. So mofo can be used in the same way as well. So a mofo can denote a baddie that one might not want to associate with, but it can also be the biggest, bestest, vibe around. And that is what Samuel L. Jackson is. He's a certified vibe. I didn't certify him, but he is. Now he is energetically. He really is cool as fuck, but more so because he's not even trying. And it was shown to me that he can literally just like grab something from his closet and throw it on. 
and it looks good on him and it looks like he put a lot of effort into it but it was actually without any effort at all and energetically he is so effortless to be around because vibe mofo vibe and people around him are just so starstruck by him even if they don't know who he is so if for example he's traveling and he's on vacation or if he's filming in another country and it's not a um, Hollywood obsessed or celebrity obsessed culture he's still noticeable people will still stop and stare and look at him even if they're not identifying that's the actor Samuel L. Jackson so he could in theory if he's traveling to another location slip by and not be recognized as an actor, but it is not without considerable notice. Like people are just drawn to him and they might not even be consciously aware of the fact that they're drawn to him or the recognition of why. But the why people notice him and why people are drawn to him, that's the interesting part. Because Samuel L. Jackson is not from here. As in, Samuel L. Jackson is an extraterrestrial. And if you don't know that extraterrestrials have been here with us and among us and has even married and procreated with us, I have linked down below a video in which I have a segment on extraterrestrials breaking down how long they've been here. So Samuel L. Jackson is an extraterrestrial. So similarly to David Bowie, also an extraterrestrial, and David Bowie's wife Iman also an extraterrestrial. And I also have a previous uh, segment in an AMA in which I've looked into David Bowie, also linked down below. So similarly to David Bowie and Iman, and probably countless others in the, in the industry that I have not yet gotten to reading their energy, or even perhaps those in the modeling industry or the so-called regular folk out and about in everyday life, that just stand out with their otherworldliness in terms of their physical appearance or their unique energy and vibe, the reason they stand out and the reason that people are drawn to them is because they are in fact otherworldly and their energy packs a punch. And if you're wondering if Samuel L. Jackson or those like him, as in the other extraterrestrials, know that they are not from here, they do. So just like us starseeds experience a feeling of wrongness in being here on the earth plane, they do too. But whereas starseeds live sometimes very messy lives that are designed to strip us bare of what we are not so that we can wake up to what we in fact are, they know what they are. Now, this is not to say that it is always easy for them because that feeling of wrongness never goes away. But in some ways, they are, in fact, ahead of us. So they do have a slightly easier go. Because it's not like they have to be stripped bare of what they're not so that they can be awake to what they in fact are, i.e. a starseed, and then discover their meaning and purpose and then start to share it with the world because they just live it. And they don't question why they feel like they don't belong here because they know it. 
Now, it's at this point, after looking into the energy around Samuel L. Jackson, his energy decided to come into me. And we had a little, a little energetic dialogue here. And he shared with me that he is a bit amused by it, but he is also rather unaffected by his so-called star status, because he thinks to himself, if people only in fact knew how connected he is to the cosmos, because he's not really from here. And he also shared with me that he was first and foremost um, very amused by the fact that he was considered to be a cultural icon. Because again, he's not from here, but he's being recognized as an American cultural icon. And he also finds it amusing that he is the most widely recognized actors. But he's widely recognized without people having the conscious awareness of why he is so widely recognized and why they are so drawn to him. Again, otherworldly vibe, otherworldly energy, otherworldly physical expression of their bodies. And he also shared with me that his being here on the earth plane is a bit of a science experiment. Because first of all, he's an actor and he's also an other. But then he also shared with me that he does feel a lot of empathy for earthlings. Those that are not yet awake and those that have been awake for decades. And yes, of course, even all the star seeds. But other than that, he says he's not really sure what else he can say other than the fact that he sees us and he knows how we struggle. So while he is energetically cool as fuck, he is also a bit energetically aloof. So think of, for my friends that are into astrology, think of Aquarian energy. Yes, they're for the people, but their energy and the way that they interact with the world is a bit of an aloof kind of nature. So his aloofness, I surmised, is due to the fact that he is not from here. He's not from the earth plane. And maybe he's never really bonded to us earthlings or our planet either. He doesn't really feel a kinmanship to this place. So it was when I had come to this kind of realization about his aloofness and that it might be due to the fact that he doesn't feel connected to this place, I wanted to ask him some questions about where he is in fact from. So I first asked him where he's from and if he could share with me what it's like. So he tells me it's, quote, free. As in the energy, the vibe, the experience of what the day-to-day -day beings, what their experience is like to them, it's free. So then I next asked him what the natives do there. And he told me, quote, create. So I was curious and I asked him if uh, the natives in where he's from are aware of earth. And he told me that some are and some are not. But then he laughed. <laughs> And he told me that my asking that, like asking if the beings um, on another planet or in another solar system or in another galaxy or somewhere far, far away in the known universe, <laughs> that he laughs and tells me my even asking that is such a earthbound 3D concept kind of thing to do. To like assign meaning to this particular place and to think that everyone must know about it. Like there's a certain kind of like 3D arrogance. It's kind of the way in which like an American would feel if we went to any other place on the globe 
any other country and we would just have this expectation that everybody there would be able to communicate with us in English. Or certainly, if not the natives, but like people in restaurants and people in hotels. So he kind of like turned it around on me, but like in a very amusing kind of way. And he's like, that's like a very heavy, dense, earthbound, material, earth identifiable thing to want to do, which is to be like, oh, hey, yeah, like the known universe is so damn large, but do the entities in other locations know about earth? I mean, he had a point. He had me there. <laughs> I pivoted. So then I asked him if the others that are like him, as in the other extraterrestrials that reside on earth, can always spot each other here, and he told me, quote, always. So then I asked him, knowing that he's an extraterrestrial, if he wants to go home, and he smirked at me and asked if I wanna go home. To which I said, Touche, Samuel L. Jackson. Touche. So that concludes my mini energy read on the actor Samuel L. Jackson. I remind you to please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And if you're still here, check out those two linked videos down below. And I remind you that until next time and every moment in between, to stay in the high vibration.